Honestly, I'm glad I'm safe, but this entire thing was entirely unexpected. It was here near 3rd and Willis that two men carjacked a Wayne State student Thursday night. Too scared to show his face, the young man tells me he barely noticed the two men coming. As soon as I take my key out, one of them runs behind my car, the other runs in front of my car. The guy behind my car produces a handgun. He gets behind me and he puts a gun to my neck. He said it wasn't just scary. He felt like it wasn't even happening. I'm just glad they didn't uh, they didn't hurt me. As soon as that person took the gun off the student, he panicked and ran down the road. He made it a few blocks down along 3rd Avenue. And when he got down this way, he realized they didn't actually take his phone. He called 911 and actually ended up walking right back down the road. Just to see, you know, hopefully see where they uh, drove off. And I see one of the guys, the guy with the handgun, he comes back and he drives around in a different car. We, we make eye contact for a bit and then he speeds off the same way they took my car. While they didn't get all of his stuff, the victim tells me they got what matters the most to a Wayne State student. Yeah, it was a bad time. I had exams. They actually took my bags and my bags had all my notes in it. Other students were alerted with a special safety alert by campus police. It turns out a gun was pulled on another student just hours earlier. As for this student, I parked here multiple times before. I've never had an issue. He's still amazed by how all this unfolded. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. And Detroit police are investigating this crime. We're told investigators might have found the car, but no word yet from the student if he's been able to get it back.